NASA has recently surprised the world with its latest innovation, a solid-state battery. While NASA's groundbreaking contributions have influenced our everyday lives through inventions like CAT scans, memory foam, and insulin pumps, its solid-state battery breakthrough could be a true game-changer. This cutting-edge battery technology has the potential to revolutionize various industries, including commercial aviation. In fact, NASA's Sabre's battery might be the answer to electrifying 90% of the aviation sector. So what exactly is this new battery? And why is it such a big deal? Are solid-state batteries the future of electric mobility? Let's explore this together. Around four years ago, on October 1st, 2019, NASA embarked on a remarkable mission known as Project Sabres. This ambitious project aimed to create cutting-edge solid-state batteries with enhanced rechargeability and safety. Solid-state batteries differ from traditional lithium-ion batteries in that they use a solid-state electrolyte instead of liquid or gel electrolytes. This choice of electrolyte material is crucial because it's what gives these batteries their solid-state identity. To fully appreciate the significance of this innovation. Let's dive into the world of batteries. Traditional batteries, like the ones in your phone or laptop, consist of three main components, a cathode, an anode, and an electrolyte sandwich between them. The anode stores the energy. And when you use a battery to power a device, the anode releases electrons that flow through the device's circuits, providing power. The cathode acts like a bucket to collect these electrons, preventing a buildup of positive charge in the anode and negative charge in the cathode, which would halt the reaction. The separator and electrolyte are pivotal elements in this process. The separator keeps the anode and cathode from short-circuiting, allowing only ions to pass through. In conventional batteries, the electrolyte consists of a salt dissolved in an organic solvent, making it flammable and a potential cause of battery fires. In contrast, solid-state batteries utilize a solid electrolyte, eliminating the need for flammable liquids or gels. This design enhances safety and performance. However, crafting a solid-state battery was no small feat. NASA's Sabres team, led by Dr. Rocco Vigano, faced the monumental task of finding the right electrolyte material and anode-cathode combination that would outperform traditional lithium-ion batteries. Their goal was to develop a battery that was safer, more efficient, more energy dense, and more resilient. Additionally, they sought a design that would be cost effective, not reliant on rare materials and safe for use at both ground level and cruising altitudes. After extensive research and experimentation, the team settled on a selenium sulfur chemistry. This choice was pivotal in achieving their objectives. In October 2022, they published their findings revealing that Sabre's batteries boasted an impressive specific energy density of 500 watt seconds per kilogram, nearly double that of typical lithium ion batteries. This increased energy density made the Sabre's battery around 40% idler for the same amount of energy, a significant improvement. When considering volumetric energy density, which takes into account the volume occupied by the battery, the Sabre's battery excelled once again. With an energy density of over 800 watt hours per liter, it outperformed lithium ion cells, which typically achieve around 500 watt hours per liter. This means Sabre's batteries are approximately 40% smaller in volume, translating to more compact and lightweight energy storage solutions. Moreover, Sabre's batteries are exceptionally robust. You can drive a nail through one and it will continue working without suffering from leaks or swelling. Importantly, these batteries lack the flammable organic solvents present in traditional lithium ion batteries, mitigating the risk of thermal runaway reactions and fires. This feature is especially vital for applications like aviation, where traditional lithium ion batteries require complex thermal management systems to operate within a narrow temperature range, adding weight and complexity. In contrast, Sabre's batteries can function safely across a wide temperature, range from minus 32 degrees Fahrenheit and minus zero degrees Celsius to 302 degrees Fahrenheit and 150 Celsius, making them highly versatile and reliable for various flying conditions. This adaptability without the need for bulky thermal management systems opens up new possibilities in aviation and electric mobility. 
potentially revolutionizing the way we power electric planes, air taxis, and flying cars. Now let's dissect NASA's Sabres battery to understand what sets it apart from other solid-state batteries. I promise this will be a quick dive into the technical details. The anode of the Sabres battery is made of pure metallic lithium, a standout feature compared to most lithium-ion batteries, which typically use graphite or silicon as anode materials. This choice of pure lithium for the anode bay provides an excellent starting point. The cathode, on the other hand, is a bit more complex. It consists of a combination of sulfur, selenium, selenium sulfide compounds, and a patented porous graphene material called polygraphene. The selection of lithium, sulfur chemistry, for the cathode is notable because it boasts an incredibly high theoretical specific energy of 2680 watt hours per kilogram. This is nearly three times the energy density of lithium cobalt oxide batteries, which have a specific energy 980 watts per kilograms theory. Essentially, this means that in a future Sabres battery of the same weight, you could potentially store five to 10 times more energy compared to current lithium ion batteries. Higher energy density is especially crucial for applications like electric planes and electric vehicles, as it significantly impacts their performance. However, there's a trade-off when it comes to the Sabres battery sulfur selenium chemistry. While it enhances conductivity, which leads to greater power density, it slightly lowers the energy density. Achieving the right balance between energy and power density was a significant challenge for NASA's Sabres team. The holy graphene in the cathode acts as a scaffold that serves two crucial functions. Firstly, it enhances the electrical conductivity of the cathode as graphene is an excellent conductor. Secondly, it enables the compression of the cathode into a thin and stable layer without the need for a polymer binder, which is typically used in other solid state cathodes, making the overall system lighter. The core component of this system is the solid state electrolyte. Sabre's batteries use one of two types of lithium rich solid electrolytes, LGPS, which is highly conductive and suitable for high power applications and are durotide which is more cost-effective but less conductive. The electrolyte's role is to facilitate the exchange of lithium ions between the two electrodes, allowing for the flow of electricity. LGPS is highly conductive but expensive due to the presence of geranium, while argyrotide is more affordable but less conductive. One of the most innovative aspects of the Sabre's battery design is its ability to facilitate bipolar stacking. This means that battery cells can be stacked back to back with both electrodes sandwiching the same current collector foil. This stacking technique allows for series connection of cells without the need for external wiring and individual housings for each cell. It might sound a bit technical, but this feature reduces the weight and volume of the battery pack, increases the system voltage, and makes it easier to configure cells in various geometries or adapt to the shape of an aircraft. For example, the potential of the Sabres program extends far beyond aviation. It could also make a significant impact on the electric vehicle industry, providing a safer and more efficient alternative to traditional lithium ion batteries. Air taxi services and commercial airlines could benefit from these batteries due to their higher energy density and quick charging capabilities. Additionally, they have applications in space missions, powering rovers, spacesuits, space stations, and other aerospace applications. Now, let's address the question that many may have in mind. Can the Sabres battery holistically power a commercial jetliner and help electrify long-haul air travel? To answer this question, we examine the specifications of one of the world's most popular commercial aircraft, the Boeing 737. The Boeing 737, in its latest model, the 737 MAX 7 features two engines that collectively weigh around 57,760 pounds and produce a peak power output of 30 megawatts. We then calculated the amount of energy needed to replace these engines and fuel with electric motors and Sabres batteries, taking into account the energy density of the fuel, about 12,000 watts hour per kilograms. The efficiency of the jet engines and the efficiency of the best electric motors and power transmission units available. We estimated the mass of batteries required for equivalent performance. At Sabre's energy density, 
rating of 500 watt hours per kilogram, we found that we would need a mass of approximately 188,000 kilograms. However, when factoring in the electric motors, even with a high power option like MIT's one megawatt prototype motor, the total system weight would be around 190,000 kilograms, exceeding the maximum takeoff weight of the aircraft. This indicates that Sabre's batteries alone might not allow for the replacement of conventional engines and fuel on a jetliner like the Boeing 737 with the same range of over 4,000 miles. Nevertheless, this doesn't diminish the significance of the Sabre's battery. Most passenger flights cover distances of less than 1,500 nautical miles, with a significant proportion of flights around 500 nautical miles. By slightly reducing the range to around 550 nautical miles, the Sabre's battery could feasibly power a substantial portion of these shorter flights. This means that even if it might not enable trans-Pacific flights, the Sabre's battery has the potential to make a significant impact on the airline industry, ushering in a new era of electric aviation. While NASA's Sabre's battery represents a significant breakthrough in battery technology, it's essential to acknowledge some of its drawbacks. One of the most prominent challenges facing solid-state batteries, including Sabre's, is their power density. These batteries often struggle with low charge and discharge rates, limiting the amount of power they can deliver or absorb. This limitation poses a significant problem for aircraft, which require massive amounts of power during takeoff and for vertical takeoff and landing operations. Imagine having a colossal tank of water connected to a tiny hose. You have all the capacity, but you can't get it out fast enough. Researchers have claimed that the new Sabre's battery boasts a 50-fold increase in power density compared to their earlier prototypes. However, it's worth noting that NASA has not disclosed specific data regarding the battery's exact power capacity. This omission raises concerns as detailed information about power density is critical when evaluating the battery's potential. To estimate the Sabre's battery's power density, we can rely on available data. It has been mentioned that the battery can charge at a rate of at least 1C, which means it can be fully charged from 0% to 100% in one hour. This puts the Sabre's specific power density at 500 watts per kilogram. To provide a point of comparison, Tesla's 4,680 cell, which weighs 355 grams and stores approximately 97 watt hours of energy, can be charged and discharged in about 15 minutes or at a rate of 4C. This equates to a specific power density of approximately one to 100 watt hours per kilogram over twice that of the Sabre's battery. The Sabre's has roughly half the power density of some of the best lithium-ion batteries available. Another significant drawback of the sulfur-selenium battery chemistry used in Sabre's is the occurrence of polysulfide shuttling. This phenomenon can reduce the battery's cycle life significantly. Polysulfide shuttling happens when sulfur in the cathode moves through the electrolyte to the anode, while a solid-state electrolyte is designed to prevent this issue. Research has shown that it can still occur even with solid electrolytes. This limitation can restrict the cycle life of Sabre's batteries to only a few hundred charge and discharge cycles. Low cycle life means the battery wears out quickly and requires more frequent replacement, leading to increased maintenance and downtime costs. This is a significant concern, particularly in the airline industry, which often operates with slim profit margins of as little as 1 to 2%. However, the future of solid-state batteries isn't solely dependent on NASA's success. Several other players in the industry are making strides in this field. For example, Toyota, the world's largest car manufacturer by volume, has announced plans to develop and commercialize a next-generation solid-state battery by 2025. Toyota claims that their battery can provide an additional 745 miles of range to their future electric vehicles EVs and can be fully charged in just 10 minutes at a rate of 6C. While specific details about this battery are limited, Toyota intends to integrate it into their hybrid and plug-in hybrid models by 2025 and their all-electric vehicles. Additionally, companies like Nissan are actively working on solid-state batteries and one of the most promising contenders is a company called Leighton. 
Lighten is positioning itself to mass-produce a lithium-sulfur solid-state battery similar to NASA Sabre's concept. The brains behind this endeavor is Selina Mikolajica, Lighten's chief battery technology officer, known for her battery development work at Tesla, Uber, and Panasonic. Lytton claims that, when mature, their battery will have an energy density of 600 watt-hours per kilogram and 800 watt-hours per liter, all while costing less than $60 per kilowatt-hour. It's important to maintain a cautious optimism regarding these developments, but the potential impact is undeniable. Solid-state batteries, especially those without traditional liquid electrolytes, represent a significant leap forward in battery technology. While the prospect of electric aviation may still be somewhat distant, the broader implications for electric vehicles and energy storage are substantial. With advancements in economics, pricing, safety, reliability, and longevity, solid-state batteries could revolutionize various industries, marking a pivotal moment in battery technology. The involvement of NASA in this field further underscores the importance and potential of this emerging technology. So how excited are you about solid-state batteries and how crucial do you think NASA's contribution is in this game-changing field? Share with us in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, show us some love by hitting that like button and leaving a comment down below. Also, if you're a fan of all things technology, be sure to check out this other video we've got lined up for you. It's packed with all the latest news, tips, and tricks to keep you ahead of the curve.